the JoJo Cider Reviews and more. I'm JoJo. Well, St. Patrick's Day is around the corner, guys, so I thought I'd review an Irish Red Ale for you. I'm talking about O'Hara's Irish Red Ale. This is 4.3% alcohol by volume. It's a craft brewed in Ireland. So it was crafted by Carlo Brewing Company out of Bagnallstown Company, or CEO, I think that's company Carlo Ireland. But it is imported in the U.S. in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. And this is 20 IBUs, I'm sorry, 25 IBUs. Again, Irish Red Ale. And it gets 81 out of 100 on Beer Advocate. Okay? It's a product of Ireland. It says on the front, a full-bodied Irish Red with a traditional hop flavor to balance a sweet malt finish. All right? It is not a twist off. So. Got my traveler glass. Please come back, traveler, beer company, if you're watching. We miss you. All right, it's going for the pour. All right. I'm feeling this head's going to go down pretty quick, so let's talk about it. Kind of an off white, dark cream colored head. Slight, maybe tint of or um, tint of brown, I should say, or maybe dark orange. Not even a finger head, I would say. Pretty dark beer, kind of like a dark mahogany color, very dark reddish brown. You could say copper as well. Can't really see any bubbles. A little bit, tiny bit streaming up to the surface. Very hard to see through the glass. It's going for the aroma. I'm getting caramel, um, a little bit of roasted barley malt, it smells very, very malty, sweet, maybe some toffee, molasses, I'm not really picking up any hops at all. Yeah, definitely more malty. So without further ado guys, salute, it's pretty much gone now. Oh, okay. So, Getting a decent amount of roasted barley malt on the palate. A little bit of smokiness. Also, you get that a little bit of coffee and a little bit of caramel, too. Maybe a little bit of hot bitterness, but I think most of the bitterness is coming from the roasted barley malt. And, yeah, get that a little bit of caramel. Maybe some molasses in there. Mouthfeel is light, but on the high end of light. Very sessionable. It goes down pretty, pretty smooth. I might say, actually, I might back backpedal and say it's just into medium for the mouthfeel. Decent amount of body into it on it. It's close though, but a little bit of lacing, not too, too much, but yeah, it's malty, you know, rye bread, I kind of get in the taste. For a score, um, well, here's Irish red. Okay. It's not bad. I think I remember liking the Smittix a lot better, but this is good. It's a good beer. I'd get it again. I'm not going crazy over it, but it's not bad. I'll give it 85 out of 100. I'll give it a B. I think it's a good beer. I'd get it again. Probably wouldn't go out of my way to get it, but it's not bad. So anyways, if you see it around, try it for St. Patty's Day. It's not bad. Again, O'Hara's Irish Red Ale product of Ireland imported in the U.S. by in South Carolina. Appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't checked out my new Facebook group, check it out. It's JoJo Cider Reviews and more. And hope to see you guys next time. Till next time, salute day.